Hi, I'm Danny with BuyTwoWayRadios.com. Motorola is now in the process of rolling out some changes to their RDX series of two-way radios. The new versions of these radios are going to be narrowband ready, which means that the default channels on these radios are going to be 100% narrowband right out of the box. In doing this, these radios are now going to be 100% compliant with the 2013 FCC narrowbanding requirements. These radios themselves, ever since they were introduced a couple of years ago, have been compliant with the FCC requirements, but what this new change does is makes them narrowband right out of the box. Previous versions of these radios had some channels that were defaulted to wideband frequencies, even though narrowbanding was supported. With these changes, the radios are going to be completely narrowband right out of the box. So this is going to be better for everyone unless you've got existing radios. If you have existing RDX series radios, you might need to make a small change to your existing radios to switch them to narrowband mode. When you buy a new radio, and it's one of the new narrowband ready versions, it's going to talk to your old radios right out of the box as long as you're using default frequencies. You may not even notice a difference. But we do recommend that you update your older radios to be in narrowband mode. And I'll take you through a few ways to do that. First, let's look at some of the differences with the new radios. Um, visually, you're not going to notice a whole lot. The box is different. It's a shorter box now. It's a different color. It's marked narrowband ready all over the box. The radio itself is the same hardware that you had before. The only visible difference is going to be that the label on the front of the radio is going to be green. Okay, now let me explain what you need to do to make your old radios completely compatible with the new narrowband ready version. Um, to begin with, I guess you're probably wondering what differences you're going to hear if you don't make any changes at all. I said earlier that the radios are going to communicate just fine. But the problem is going to be if you don't adjust your old radios and you're using a wideband channel on them to talk to a narrowband channel on the new radio, you're not going to get optimal sound quality. One of the radios may sound as a little bit as if it's in a tunnel, um, things like that. You want to make this setting change to ensure that you're getting the best audio quality possible. Now you have three options as far as changing your old radios. Probably the easiest option is to download the CPS programming software from Motorola's website and to purchase a programming cable for your radios. With this, you'll be able to connect the radios directly to the computer and make the narrowband change very easily through the interface on the computer just by going in to edit the channel and changing the bandwidth. Another option is to clone the radios. You can take the new narrowband ready radio and clone it using the either the included charger and a cloning cable which is sold separately and clone the settings from the new radio to the old radio. Uh, that's going to work very quickly and it's an easy change. All you do is hold down a couple of buttons on the side of the radio while you're turning it on to put it in cloning mode. We have a blog post on our website at buy2wayradios.com that explains how to do that in detail. Also, if you have a multi-charger, no cable is required. If you have a six-unit multi-charger, it makes cloning a very simple process. The third way of changing it, and this only applies to radios that have a display. That's the RDU 2080D, the RDV 2080D, and the RDU 4160D. If you have one of those three radios, you can go into the programming mode of the radio and make the change yourself without purchasing any, any programming cables or cloning cables. And now I'll show you how to do that step by step using an older RDU 4160D radio. Because it can be confusing to change the programming settings to adjust the bandwidth directly using the radio instead of using cloning or the programming software, I'm going to demonstrate the steps 
using this RDU 4160D radio. Um, keep in mind these steps will only work on an RDX series Motorola radio that has a display. That includes models RDU 2080D, RDV 2080D, and the RDU 4160D. The first step is to put the radio into programming mode. To do that, be sure the radio is off and hold down the two buttons on the side, the push to talk and SB1, while turning the radio on. Continue to hold, continue to hold the two buttons down until you hear that beep and then the display will have a PROG icon that indicates you are in programming mode. Channel 1 will flash on the display. In this demonstration, we're going to program channels 1, 2, and 3 to be narrow banding, but this would work for any channel, any number of channels on your radio. The first step with the correct channel selected is to press the menu key until the display reads RXBW for receive bandwidth. By default, it's set to high for this channel. We'll press the minus key to change the bandwidth to low. And now I'm going to hold down the push to talk button for a couple of seconds until I hear a beep to lock in that setting. That returns us to the channel selection screen and I will use the plus button to choose channel 2. Now I will repeat the steps before pressing menu until I see the receive bandwidth high. I'm going to use the minus key to change it to low and hold down push to talk to get back to the main prompt. The plus key changes us to channel 3. Menu to adjust the receive bandwidth. Minus. Save. Now I'm still in programming mode. To exit programming mode, I'm just going to hold down the push to talk button for a couple of more seconds. And I return to the main radio screen that you're probably familiar with. The PROG icon is gone. And now this RDU 4160 is set to narrow band on channels 1 through 3. If you have any questions or run into any issues while doing this to your radio, don't hesitate to give us a call at 1-800-584-1445 and we'll be happy to assist. Thanks for watching.